Hello everyone. Welcome to BSc fourth sem physics class. So myself Shivanand Dospani. So today we are going to start fifth unit that is called as alternating current. That we call that one as a AC source or AC circuits, right? So before going to start this one. So let us uh, see what are the syllabus uh, we need to cover in this unit and later on we need to discuss some problems on this okay so let me say about the syllabus syllabus is given by syllabus three is in this chapter we are going to discuss about operator J operator J and argon diagram argon diagram and LCR series circuit LCR series circuit and its expression for current expression for current and impedance impedance and phase that is using J operator using J operator method J operator method then we are going to discuss about condition for resonance frequency condition for resonance frequency and then we are going to discuss about bandwidth bandwidth and then about quality factor quality factor and their relations and their relations we are going to see about the relation between all these factors all these uh, terms qualitatively okay and later after this we are going to see about LCR uh, parallel circuit after this we are going to discuss about LCR parallel circuit in that we are going to discuss about expression for expression for admittance admittance and condition for resonance and condition for resonance using J operator method using J operator method and after all these things we are going to discuss about problems in this chapter based on whatever we are going to study in this unit okay so let me introduce what do you mean by 
alternating current. Then you will see some of the terms regarding alternating current. Then we will move on. Okay. So, first let me start with introduction. So, alternating current or alternating voltage. So, alternating current that I will call as AC means that is alternating current. So, it may be a current or it may be voltage. Where the magnitude varies and changes its direction periodically with time. So, the magnitude and the direction of these quantities like current and voltage, they changes its direction and magnitude periodically with time. So, they changes so magnitude magnitude and the direction periodically periodically with time so means what exactly they look like AC source can be compared with the DC as like this. So here alternating current, alternating current means its magnitude is changing. You can see here its magnitude is increasing with respect to time. This axis is time axis and this axis is also time axis along the axis and y axis is voltage. Here y axis are also voltage. In DC, direct current, direct current means where its magnitude and direction will not change. You can see here, there is no change in its magnitude. This magnitude is fixed along the time. So, but here in AC, its magnitude is changing every time. And its direction is also changing. Here it is in a positive axis and here it is now negative with respect to voltage. This one is a positive y and axis and this one is a negative y axis. Here it, it is acquiring its negative values. It, it is acquiring positive values. Its direction is changing every time. You can see here the direction of the voltage. Right. So its magnitude is changing and direction is changing periodically. That is after one period it changes another uh, the same thing what is changes in first half cycle and second half cycle. So that is what we call as periodically. So we we'll see the terms regarding this alternating current uh, and important terms like what do you mean by period, what do you mean by frequency, what do you mean by phase, uh, what do you mean by amplitudes and everything. Right? So, so um, okay, so we'll see the uh, remaining part of this one in the next class. So thank you.